Hey everybody, it's that Boondocking Diva, and tonight I am talking to the lovely Miss Travel Stocks and Locks. Hey girl. Hey, how you doing, girl? <laughs> we are in Cape Town, South Africa, uh, mm -hmm. traveling. And um, so she's going to tell us a little bit about her digital nomad journey. Mm -hmm. uh, we met here as part of a travel group, Lux Nomads. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, tell us about yourself, girl. All right, well, I will start with um, where I'm from and where I am now. Yeah. So um, I'm currently in Merida, Mexico. Um, I hail from North Carolina. Um, back in June, I decided to do a recognizance trip to say, okay, I knew I wanted to leave the United States. I didn't know where I wanted to go. I knew I wanted to go to Mexico, but I didn't know what city. Yeah. So um, everyone on YouTube had been talking about Merida and how great it is for um, the black community. So I was like, okay, let's give it a shot. Cool. So I um, went on Airbnb and I was like, I'm gonna do this for a month. Let's, let's check mm -hmm. it out, see what's going mm -hmm. on. By week three, I was sold. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, tell me no more. I'm yeah. staying. Yeah. I hired a real estate agent. And I was there. So that is how I got there back in June. Cool. So you come in from North Carolina mm -hmm. and you went all the way to Mexico. So talk, let's step back a little bit. Okay. I, I love the fact that you just picked up and went. Yep. That's how it But happened. how did you how did you get to the point where you just wanted to pick up and go? Like was there phases of how you got there? Yeah, so let so let me back up then. Mm -hmm. So about I'm gonna be honest. I've never felt like United States was home. Okay. I just, I just okay. never have. Yeah. Um, I just felt like wherever I was was always temporary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've always felt like I don't think I belong here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it was just a matter of trying to figure out where I belong. Uh -huh. And I mean, I don't know. Mexico is the place forever, but for me right now, yeah, it it's feels just... like it's where I belong. Right. Um, I travel. I've traveled all over the world. Um, so I was just like, you know, United States. Specifically with um, 45, <laughs> I was just like, you know what? It's that time. Make, make some changes, cause the run, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, hear you. I, I, I like freedom, and yeah. I don't want to compromise that freedom by choking somebody out. <laughs> so let's go on and speed up that plan. Um, I person had a personal plan of leaving at about 2025. Okay. But one thing that we tend to do is get into analysis paralysis. And I kept saying, you know, I gotta have this before I go. I gotta have that done. I gotta yeah, have this done. Yeah. And people and, think it has to be like perfect before you get up and start doing something about it. Yeah. Like yeah. you can have a plan, but you need to start in like what do you call it? Start activating that plan. Yeah, you need to start like, doing. Small steps. Yep. Baby steps. Yeah. But get started. And yeah. I am very much a planner. I'm very yeah. type A. I'm like, you have to do this first and then do that, do that. Yeah. But there was just a number of things that was happen happening in the country um, that were happening personally where mm -hmm. I was just like, you know what? It's just time to go. Yeah. So your decision making <laughs> yeah. process was trying to find that happy space for your home. Like, feel at home. Yes. That was really what it was about. Yes. And not um, my Don't personal ask. home per se, because mm -hmm. all of that was fine. Yeah. But I think everything that was just going on, A, globally, but B, nationally, had just yeah. really started yeah. taking a toll on me. Right. Um, you know, specifically the Panini. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Algorithm. <laughs> the Panini and him. Mm -hmm. Just after that, and, you know, just talking to different people and, you know, dealing with, um, I have a background in mental health um, counseling, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, yeah, I could feel, based on what I know, I was yeah. like, Something, something's not right. And I yeah. knew that had an impact. Um, and plus, just not, like I said, everything was going on politically, January 6th, yeah. George Floyd, right, um, Breonna right, Taylor, right. all, all that. of that stuff. Yeah. I was just like, this place is getting crazy. It's, mm -hmm. it's really tough for me to speed up my plan. Mm -hmm. um, so when I left in June, I didn't have the intent of leaving then. It was just really, like I said, reconnaissance. So this past yeah. June? This past June. Okay. Yep. So that's uh, three, four months? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah. So I was just like, you know, it's time to go. And I just yeah. left. Yeah. Yeah. And why Merida? Is that what, how you pronounce it? Merida. Merida. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I love Merida. Uh, yeah. For one, I like heat. I'm from the South. Uh -huh. 
Okay. So um, I am like Stephanie Perry. I am boycotting winters. Mm-hmm. I don't ever want to see another winter. And I'm a winter baby. No more cold weather. I don't like cold weather. <laughs> I don't like snow. I don't like any of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Manada is basically the best place <laughs> to be in North America okay. if you ain't feeling winters. Okay. Because it's pretty much 90 to 95 degrees yeah. every day, all day. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? It's hot. It's close to the beach. The food is great. That's why, one reason why I love Mexico. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, the food is great. I mean, why not? Yeah. You got so, everything you need. It. I got everything I need. Yeah. I have hot weather. I have food. Yeah. I'll be chilling. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so then like, career-wise, um, mm-hmm. you part of your plan was, hey, I'm going to be a digital nomad because I have this way of working online virtually, right? Yes. So tell us about that. Sure. So I've been working remotely um, before the Panini. I've, mm-hmm. I've been mm-hmm. um, working remotely since about um, 2018. I love how you said the Panini. <laughs> oh, yeah. Honey. We can't mess up algorithm, girl. <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, I've been remote um, with my um, job and uh, with my company since 2018. So yeah. Yeah. That, that was nothing new. Yeah. So um, once I realized I had the flexibility to kind of do some things, I'm like, why Why am I attaching myself here yeah. when I don't have to? Right. So I first started just traveling um, domestically, going to different places, mm-hmm. having my laptop. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, you know what? I can do this out of the country. Yeah. Like, why, why am I keeping myself here? So you were traveling around the states. Yes, traveling uh, around the United working states. wherever you wanted to work. Mm-hmm. Just you know, okay. during taking a week and saying, you know, I want to be in this city. Okay. I want to see this city. I want to walk around. Okay. And yeah, and taking my laptop. And yeah. then um, I'm really not bound to specific um, hours. So right. if I want to work at night, I can. If I want to work during the day, I can. Mm-hmm. So yeah, just as long as I'm getting my work done, I'm showing up for meetings. I'm good. Right. Okay. So uh, yeah, so I started domestically. And and this was like I can do this internationally. So and yeah, so and that's, that's another reason why I chose Mexico because the time difference isn't that far. Away. So yeah, this is nice. Mm-hmm. This is nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna ask you about working from home. Um, let's see. So you picked up Winter Merida. You're mm-hmm. still doing the same thing you were doing in the States. Mm-hmm. And so from an advice standpoint, mm-hmm. one of the things you might recommend to women is, hey, make sure you got you yeah, know, yeah. You got definitely your job make sure you, yeah. in line. Yeah, you definitely want to make sure you have it. Um, I, I do stocks as well. That's when travel stocks and law. Okay. So I'm also a swing trader as well. So you want to make sure you have your cushion. Okay. I tell people, okay. you know, have a cushion so that you're able to do it. Now, yeah. I'm not saying you have to have a million dollars saved up. Yeah. But you want to have some kind of financial plan before you decide to do this. Yeah. Now, there are some people I've met in Merida that, that didn't. They mm-hmm. were just like, I have $1,000 and, and I was sick in <laughs> the United States and I'm out. And yeah. hey, I ain't, I'm not knocking them. You yeah. do what you do. Right, right. But you know, as someone who was there and with a child, yeah. I knew that I had to have some type of financial plan. Okay. So, so yeah, that was fine. So that's that's one thing I would tell people. Yeah. Um, another thing I was I would tell people is, I, I'm one. I don't ask for permission. I ask for forgiveness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There you go. So, My kind of girl. Yeah, so yeah. I do what I do. Uh-huh. But if you're the one that you feel the need, if you work for a company and they, they you want to tell them where you are, then, you know, you do that. That's your choice. Um, or, or not. <laughs> or not. <laughs> but I would do say you. for um, IT security, you know, making yeah. sure that you have a VPN in place. Right. Um, you know, making sure that you keep your um, computers and things safe. Mm-hmm. Make sure would, you have the right plugs for that country. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And I, and I would say for Mexico, specifically um, I'm one that I work with three and four monitor mm-hmm. monitors and I work with like three and four computers yeah so knowing what you can bring into right. that country because Mexico is very funny about um, bringing technology in oh really oh yeah they, I didn't they know very that. much are so they really they really prefer one laptop to one person really they they really That's do good to know yeah they really do okay. so and if you know if you have more they're gonna ask you and they're gonna look through your bag they're, every time, every time I've gone. Tell through. me about that though. I know this so, is sort of a segue, but oh no, no, no! I, I mean, it's what people really need to know that yeah. because you know we as as Americans we have two and three and four you right. know laptops and At least. iPads and right. cameras and all of that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So they very much want you to buy those kind of things there. They want to make sure you're not bringing those things to Mexico to sell them. 
Oh, okay, so, yeah. that makes sense. Mm, yes, and then for us, you know, for one person to have, we're people of means. I mean, we're Americans. Let's keep it on right, right. So for one person to have three and four laptops, they're like, why would anybody need three or four? Yeah, laptops? why are you working that hard? Why you got three and four and five jobs? What are you doing? <laughs> so from their perspective, mm-hmm. I can see it. Yeah. So they just they just ask you the questions. You know, what are you doing with these mm-hmm. laptops? And I just pretty much tell them, hey, I, I do different things with different, you know, different laptops. Yeah, yeah. and they're and they're usually cool about it. But okay. they they do ask. Okay. So just making sure that if you come into um, Mexico specifically and okay. you have that technology, you're just able to explain why. Okay, so they want you to invest in their economy. Is that absolutely? That's really what it's about. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. That and um, making sure that it's not over a certain amount because you would have to pay um, import tax. So that's one thing you have to you're think bringing about. In your, the the laptop that you own is considered. An import tax. So if you come with over ten thousand okay. dollars, or if you have more than ten thousand dollars worth of belongings, you have to pay taxes oh, wow. on it. Okay. So that's why they always ask you that when you fill out your form. Okay, customs. you have if, to declare. You have to declare it okay. because yeah, if it's over ten thousand dollars, you have to pay import tax on it. Okay, all mm-hmm. right. So to know you, y'all, yeah, this is good information. Thank yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Travel so, stocks and lots. <laughs> yeah. So if you're bringing in all that equipment, I mean, some people now my computers are cheap, but if yeah. you're bringing in some top notch yeah. yeah. stuff and some top notch video stuff, your things may be over ten thousand right, dollars and they're right. they're gonna have you pay import tax on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So how long have you had your locks? How long have you been in for six years? Six years. Six okay. years, yeah. All right. Um, tell us more about Travel Stocks and Locks. Okay, so Travel Stocks and Locks was born when I went to Costa Rica. Uh-huh. And while I was there I was just thinking about, you know, all the sisters that I hear say, you know, I wanna travel but uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm like, you know, but what? Right, right. <laughs> but totally money, bad. but kids, yeah. but husband, but boyfriend, but something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm like, you you can do it for one. Right. But two, I wanted a medium where I could show people, like, look what is out here. Yeah. Figure out a way yes. to be able to do it. Yes. And there is a way to travel mm-hmm. where you're not spending a ton of money. Nobody's mm-hmm. saying you have to move there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But everybody should take the time, especially black women, to say, I need a break. Yes. Because, of course, we are expected to wear the cake for everybody. Oh, yes. And we yeah. got to be like, you know what? I ain't doing that. Yes. I'm taking a break. It's time and my for break, sabbatical. <laughs> exactly. And my break is going to be at a beach uh-huh. in another country. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then that's that's it. Yeah. So that's how it was born. So I wanted to be able to document document kind of show people you know different places in the world and that's, okay so you use your it. Instagram channel yep I use my Instagram uh, travel stocks and locks mm-hmm. to document your travels yes okay and inspire um, other women to yeah do the same yeah I also um I, I give some stock tips not financial okay. advice all right but I do give like if I hear something that's going on in the news yeah. or if I know like um you know, our Fed chair is going to speak and it may affect the market. I may say, you know, um, CPI report on Friday at 8.30 a.m. You yeah. may want to watch that or listen to it. Okay. So I'll, okay. I'll put those kind of things out there as cool. well. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. So talk to us more about what you do as a profession. This girl has a Ph.D., y'all. <laughs> she is smart. She about to be one of my mentors. And she, yes. So um, tell us about, you know. Okay. Yeah, it's so, and, yeah. Yeah. So um, I have it's an EDD. It's a doctor of education. Okay. So my background is in education. Uh-huh. So um, I've been an educator for over twenty years. Nice. Um, and right now, what I do is I work in I'm training and development for different um, Fortune five hundred companies throughout the world. Okay. So I'm a consultant. Yeah. So generally, what they'll do is they'll consult with me if they have any training needs for mm-hmm. um, their different teams in their country, mm-hmm. or excuse me, in their company, and then I'll get with them and. Mm-hmm. We, we work it out. So yeah. whether it's, you know, a trainer that's in front of the classroom or whether it's training where you're through Zoom or mm-hmm. training where it's self, um, self-led, self any of those I work with. Um, okay. Yeah, I work with companies okay. to do that. Beautiful. So, yeah. We're in the same field. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, we're going to be working together soon. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and um, there's a big need for that out there. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, for ladies who are looking to maybe make a career change, you want to yes. find something that is remote. That's one thing that's out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so what other additional advice would you give to women who, you know, obviously make sure you have all your ducks in a row in terms of finances because mm-hmm. you want to be able to support yourself and your type of a lifestyle. Yeah. Um, any other advice? I would say do it. Just do it. I would, I would say yeah. do it. Um, um, earlier this year, I lost somebody really close to me, and it mm-hmm. was someone who... 
she was like, you know, after I do this, I'm ready to travel, I'm going to do yeah. this. And she was never able to do it. So you yeah. don't know what's going to come up in your life. Right. So, so like true. I said, I said so 2025. True. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be here in 2025. Mm -hmm. So wh exactly. why am I waiting? Right. Especially if I can do it. Yeah. So if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. Right. Don't let anything stand in your way. Don't let people stand in your way. Right. Um, especially naysayers. Because you're oh, going to have goodness. those people who say, <laughs> girl, cartel going to get you. Girl, you can't <laughs> or, do that. Girl, you can't do that. <laughs> You're gonna get shot over there. You, 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 you gonna take your baby over there? Y'all gonna get shot up? You gonna get robbed? You gonna get kidnapped? Yeah, those kind of folks, you, you don't need that energy because right. it will um, quickly deter you from doing it. I love that. No, be smart. Do your research. Make mm -hmm. sure you um, look up the research of the, the country you're going to. Mm -hmm. You look up the government, how it's run. You look up um, the infrastructure, how their infrastructure is. Right. Um, you look up um, residency details because mm -hmm. it may be a place you want to stay. Yeah. Um, if you're going in um, as a traveler and you're still trying to decide, you want to know how long a traveler visa is. Mm -hmm. You want to know those kind of things, but I would say do it. Right. Research, do it. And don't overthink it. Yeah. yeah. Don't overthink it. Just keep it simple. Yeah. Keep it mm -hmm. simple. That mm -hmm. yeah. That's that is what I would tell folks. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, so we're in Cape Town, South Africa. Yeah. This is my first time here. Is this your first time? This is my first time okay. here. So on the so, continent, yes. Yes. Um, what other countries have you been to? Oh my goodness, I have been to um, been to Europe, um, specifically um, London in the UK. Okay. I've been to um, all over the Caribbean, like yeah. all like yeah. almost all those. <laughs> um, Costa Rica, Mexico, Canada. I'm trying to go across the map. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have yeah, not that's been a lot. to Asia yet. Okay. And I have not, so, but going mm -hmm. next year. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> not yes. been to Asia yet, and I've not been to Australia. So okay. those are two places that I've not been that I want to go. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I've been and to so, Scotland, I've been to Ireland. Ooh. Yeah, all over. Okay. Yeah, all over Europe. Okay. Oh, and I want to go to Romania too. Romania. Yeah. Why I Romania? Go to Eastern Europe. You sound really excited yes. about Romania. <laughs> so I have, um, I have a group of 15 members that work there. Okay. And it, if, for one, they're just awesome folks. Yeah, yeah. Um, and two, I hear so much good things about Bucharest. So I want to okay. make myself to Bucharest. Okay. Check it out. Okay. I hear it's a place to be, so I want to check it out. Yeah. So what do you think? When it's not cold, though. Yes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we don't like want cold, cold weather there. at Can't all. Can't do that. Can't do that. Um, at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about, what would you say your favorite thing so far is that you've experienced here in Cape Town? Because oh, we did the... Um, Game reserve mm -hmm. yesterday. Oh my god! We did a massage before that. Yeah, we did the um, you all gold did. restaurant. Yeah, you all did. Oh, ATV. you did the horseback riding. Okay, yes. so what, what was would you fun. say is your favorite thing about <sighs> just Cape Town in general and just your experience? I am a big like history person. Yeah. So learning about the history of okay. the country. That, okay. That's just. Anywhere I go, that's always important. Just to me. being aware. Yeah, the yeah. activities oh. and all of that, all of mm -hmm. that's great. Mm -hmm. But you can do ATVs and horseback riding. Now, yeah. big four, you got to come here for that. But most of those yeah. other things you can do in other countries. But really learning about the people, about the government, all of that, that's mm -hmm. been very eye opening for me. Yeah. Um, as someone who is a researcher, I've, I've read up on it, but mm -hmm. being here and then seeing it in action, mm -hmm. that's been an eye opener. That's been great for me. Okay. So mm -hmm. you enjoy learning the history. Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. From just being on the travel group experience. Yeah, I like to learn okay. um, like the political scope of a place, um, okay. the economics, especially for our people. Yeah, that's very yeah. important to me. Um, okay. So, yeah. Awesome. That's been great. But big five. That's that will that's close second. That wait, will wait, help. wait, wait, wait. Explain big five. So. Um, uh, the, the animals we saw yesterday, oh, so yeah, oh, yeah, the buffalo, yeah, the yeah. rhino, yes, the elephants, we saw, uh, lions. lions yes. um, we didn't see a leopard, but you know, giraffes, and yeah. being you know close enough to be able to touch them. That yeah. is that's awesome. And how was the horseback riding? Oh, that was fun. That was a workout. I was not expecting it, girl. The ATVs was a workout. My yes. hips was jiggling I in the back. I was like, I was like, that was real, like two, three miles. What is going on? Yeah, so the horseback riding forces you to keep shifting because yeah. you're moving. And then my horse was like, we're going to gallop. Look, girl, I was like, okay, I'm ready for that. Yeah. I'm gonna be a jockey today. Which, like, okay. which horse did you get on? The black mare. I got on the black mare. Okay. She was awesome. She was beautiful. Her name okay. was Annie. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that that was fun. 
a little struggle bus getting on it, but I got That's on there. Right. You did it, girl. I got on there. Is this your first time? This is my more. third time. Third time. Yeah, first but time. the first two, and that lasted okay. about two minutes uh, total. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm good on that. But this time, you know, riding them, and we rode them through where yeah. the big five are. So, yeah. you know, riding them and riding up to a zebra. Oh, so they let you drive. Oh, wow. oh, yeah, we were right there. Y'all so. went that far? Yeah, we were out where, we, where you all were. With the horses? Yeah. yeah. So we were right there. We rode up on the zebra. Why, on the rocks? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we were right up there with y'all. That's so, a long uh, way. Giraffe was right there. Baboon was right there. Did you get footage and stuff from Yeah, that? we did. Yeah, okay. we did. So, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. was, that was awesome. Wow, I'm looking forward to seeing that yeah. on your Instagram. Oh, it's going to be on the ground. Yeah. We did it for the ground. Yes, <laughs> yes. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Thank you so much You're for hanging welcome. out with me. You're welcome. I'm so glad we got a chance to meet. Awesome. Yeah, it's been great. It's yes. really been great. Likewise, it has been. It's been an eye opener. And this is another reason why I do this stuff too. Yeah. And that's another thing I would tell black women. Go out and travel, find you like minded women. Yes. And and go. Yes. Like um before this trip, I, I don't I didn't know anybody mm -hmm. on this trip. So mm -hmm. being able to meet you and the other ladies yeah. has been yeah. awesome. Find your tribe. That's right. You gotta that's I mean, important. get out there and meet people and make yourself friendly. That's right. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, y'all, if y'all wanna follow Miss Travel, Stocks and Locks. <laughs> Look her up on Instagram and just go travel, y'all. Make the plan, make it simple, and get started. Yeah. Um, you know what? Didn't you say you were thinking about van life at one point? I, I know this is, a, so, this is not so planned. That's how I started. That, that's we how gotta I started. go back and talk about yeah, that. Yeah, just yeah, one yeah. second. Yeah, yeah, we'll make it quick. Girl, <laughs> yes, that is what I wanted to do because I was just so ready to get up. Ow! Yeah. I was like, you know, I'm about so to buy me a van. you even left for Med Medida. Or Med yeah. yeah. You were thinking about van life. Yeah, so during okay. the panini. So I'm one. I don't like to be inside for long. Yeah. So after about month two of lockdown, I was like, yeah, I, I'm going to need to go buy a van. Uh-huh. <laughs> or me, get up out of here. <laughs> set up some technology so I could work. Yeah. I, I, was, I was ready. So, but again, the planner in me talked myself out of it because I was like, okay, I'm going to get a van. I got to hire this person and do all that. And this is before I met you all who yeah. make it look so simple. Uh, I was thinking I gotta go put two hundred thousand dollars and you know in a two van and right. and all of that, but you knowing know. what I know now, right. I'm like I should have gotten my van and made it do what it did, exactly, <laughs> or just or just gotten my car, yes, and, and made it do what it did. Yes. I did even I didn't yeah. think about yeah. it. Yeah. So, but hey, never say never. never I, I say still never. might do you it. You can always revisit the idea. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, and you know, be a digital nomad in Mexico. With the van. Yes. I, I might consider that. And this, and I'm glad you talked there. about that because it shows that you can come up with a plan and then you can pivot. Yes, that's and important. And still do the nomadic life. Just Absolutely. do it your way. Absolutely. Yeah. It doesn't have to look like anybody else's. Right. You do it your way. You do right. it for what works for you and your family. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that I remembered that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, Are y'all, we this signing is out? Yes, this was fun. <laughs> um, we're going to sign out and just remind you to check out Travel Stocks and Lots. Mm -hmm. And I'll see y'all. Say bye. See ya. <laughs>